Now, this was an interesting one and something I've heard other people asking for, but I haven't actually made a video on how we can actually blur some details on the screen. If you're trying to do a screen recording and you've got sensitive information, how can you do that using Ecamm? Uh, this is the question that came in from Mahdi. It's actually an email, so it's a little bit longer than normal, but uh, let me just kind of skim through this. Setting up a live stream where I'll be sharing my Amazon seller account, and I need to blur some sensitive information, specifically order details during the stream. I'm planning to use my Elgato Stream Deck to I'll toggle this blur effect on and off. Uh, however, I'm not sure how to create the image overlay to blur the sensitive information in Ecamm Live. Could you guide me through the process of setting up these overlays and integrating them with my Stream Deck for easy control during the stream? Um, excellent, right, we can do that. Although there are a couple of little bits that um, we need to play with. It's, it's not gonna be perfect, L let's see. So how do we do this? Um, First of all, in your overlays, we're going to create, so there are, there are new things you can do now in Ecamm, new, in the last 18 months, that we can do with overlays. So if I just come into live demo mode, let's have a look at my screen here a minute. And uh, the Stream Deck is open because we're going to look at that part next, answering that second question. So uh, let me just zoom in a bit over here. And this is going to be my next video, actually, about how I do this zooming in, because that's another question I get asked all the time. We're going to create this object overlay here. And down here, so um, you, you want to create a typically a rectangle for this and the fill. So you could have, normally this would be just a color fill over here. But there is an option there that you can have a blur as your fill. And uh, this is where it gets a bit weird. And we'll demonstrate this one. So border, I wouldn't normally put a border on. I've just put a border on this one because I want you to see what's happening there. So we've just created an overlay that will blur. It'll take away that little spot on the end of my nose. Um, <laughs> let's go back to the scene that I use for my thumbnails. And um, actually, rookie mistake. So this at the minute is in the current scene only. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this up here into showing all scenes. And now as I jump around to my different scenes, that blur will follow me. Now, what I wanna show you is firstly, well, when I click on this, this slider on here, I don't quite understand this. This slider on here, when I take it back, you'd think when it gets up to 100, it would completely blur it out, but it seems to, go back the other way at some point and I'm not getting that so in the 60s seems to be where it's blurring it the most and um, so as I say I've put this little frame around it at the minute so you can see the edges of it but as I move this notice that towards the edge of this box it isn't blurred it's just really in the middle area of it now what I did just think actually as I was pressing record on this I wonder if I crop the edges whether that would make a difference. No, it isn't. It's just pushing that in. So forget that bit. Um, so you do need to make sure that the box is quite a bit bigger than the area you need to blur to be able to fully do it like this. So I've got to come right out here. I can't just come to the edge of the letters out. It's not going to blur it. So that's the first thing to note. You need to come wider. Now I can take this border off now. I don't want to have that. It was just to show you the um, outside of it. So now I've created this blurred overlay, which is great. And if I want to go between, so now I'm gonna push this back. I don't want it in all scenes now. I just want it in this current scene. Although what I can see over there is that this scene is locked. So let me pull it down now, it will let me pull it in. So now when I come back to this scene, I don't have a blur in the middle, but when I go back to this one, it's staying in place. Now. This could be great for you, or it might not. If you're expecting to be able to scroll up a uh, spreadsheet or something like that, and you want this blur to move with the text, it's not going to, it's fixed on that page. So that means that you need to have this scene open and ready if you've got an Excel spreadsheet or something at the side of you, or the Amazon information, as was in this question, then you need to have that ready and you need to have the blur in place 
and then you can come back to your other scenes like this and then when you go over to that one where you say right let's show you my control panel that area is blurred out inside of Ecamm and I can adjust the shape of this box to whatever I want um, just like I would if it were and actually it's probably easier to demonstrate it with this and I should be back in live demo if instead of blur it was color and uh, make the color something that you can see. Oh, look at that lovely green. Um, you can see what's happening when I'm just grabbing these edges and moving it. You can see that that is changing the size, the shape of it. And that's exactly what's happening when I'm changing this to blur and um, just grabbing the corners and blurring whatever parts of it I need to. Okay, now the second part of this was how do we do this in Stream Deck? So I've now created this overlay and by default, it's called it rectangle. Let's say blur. And uh, then I come to my stream deck and we're just going to drop a button over here. So I'm going to scroll my way down to Ecamm. And um, we want overlay, show hide overlay. I'll drop it over here. We can call it blur. And what I would do is center it and um, push that right up. And actually, I do like doing this. Get a color on here. If you watch these other videos, you do need to go up to the um, marketplace, the Elgato marketplace up here. They're totally free. But then look for this one if you want color matrix areas. And you can grab a nice button, like a nice color like that to go behind it. It just makes the buttons really stand out. So all I'm going to do now, and um, I need to click blur. So it's asking me which overlay, if you didn't see that, sorry, that was a little bit quick. Let me pull my overlays tab over and then you can see quite close. So the function from Ecamm was show hide overlay. I put a title on it and then it says, which overlay do you want to show? And we've picked this blur. So now when I zoom back a bit and on my stream deck, which I've got right here. In fact, let's do it this way round. Um, no, because you can't see me because I'm in the wrong scene. <laughs> so I'm holding it up to you when you're looking at that thumbnail. Forgive me. So I've created this button down here called blur and it's not going to work in this scene. But uh, if I just push back to that previous scene and I press this button on and off, that's now working and the blur effect is coming on and off. So that's how you would tackle it in your stream deck. But yeah, it's only going to sit in a preset area. So you really need to have that ready to go. I don't know I'd be turning it on and off with the stream deck. I would just be jumping in and out between the scenes. Well, I hope you found that helpful and we answered the question. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's been useful. And why don't you fire away with the question you've got because all of these videos are based on your questions. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Why don't you go and check out the whole playlist that we've got here and have a look at uh, some more videos and be sure to subscribe. See you soon.